Hi and I welcome you to this lecture. In this lecture, I will give an introduction on directory information tree. Now let's roll the ball by answering the question, what is directory information tree? It's a structure in which data is stored in a directory server. This structure will be a tree-like hierarchical structure and it has each and every piece of information stored by directory service. Similar to records in SQL database, a directory database has individual information stored as an entity. If you are maintaining a directory service to store employee details, each employee details will be an entity in directory database. And these informations are stored in a hierarchical tree-like structure which makes it easy for client application to refer and fetch a particular entity. Each entity in directory information tree will have an unique distinguished name. Generally we refer it as DN. DN will lead you exactly to a particular entity. This makes it easy to refer an entity while working with directory server. Similar to DN, each entity will have a relative distinguished name and it is referred as RDN. While DN is a path to an entity, RDN is used to refer an entity itself. Of course while framing DN, we will be using RDN to refer the entity. If you are not clear about this, just don't worry, as a course progress, you will get a better picture. Every entity in a directory structure will have one or more attributes, which stores details about the entity. Consider we are creating entity for a student. In this case, we have attributes like name, gender, date of birth, grade, and it goes on based on the requirement. An RDN of the entity will be any of these attributes. In this example, student name attribute could be the RDN. There are optional attributes and mandatory attributes associated with an entity. While creating an entity, we should make sure that all mandatory attributes are passed to the entity. And optional attributes can be passed based on the requirement, obviously because it's optional. For better understanding, now let's compare between SQL database and LDAP directory database. In a SQL database, we store individual information as rows. Similarly, in directory database, we store it as entities. In SQL database, each row has values which stores details corresponding to column names. Whereas in directory database, each entry will have attributes which stores data in a key value paths. SQL databases are optimized for reads and writes. But directory database is highly optimized only for reads. It's because of the fact that a directory database is frequently read by its application but updated very rarely. And with this I am concluding my lecture. I hope now you got a basic understanding on directory information tree. Thanks for listening to this video and I hope to see you in my next lecture.